Hi, you guys. We are going to be talking about the July Sew Together pattern today. If you're not familiar, Sew Together is a little challenge that I put together through Instagram where every month all of my followers uh, vote on a pattern. I've narrowed it down to four options and the options are always within some kind of like theme, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, and then they vote on the four options and then whichever one gets the most votes is what everybody sews during that month. So July was dedicated to kind of like accessory patterns and things that you wear, but not necessarily are a garment. And so we had options like an apron, we had a, like a bum bag type of thing. Um, and then the one that ended up winning was the bucket hat. And I'm really not surprised that the bucket hat won. Bucket hats really hit the ground running last summer and they have stuck around. So I ended up finding a bucket hat on Etsy. Actually, all four of the patterns um, that people voted on for this month were all from Etsy, which was a lot of fun because I feel like there are small businesses and then there are Etsy small businesses, you know what I'm saying? So this one is from Capsule Patterns. She has a really beautiful aesthetic, um, a really unique sort of um, approach to her patterns. She really does come at them from a high fashion point of view. And even with a bucket hat that is, you know, very casual, she mentions in her description about how they've been seen on the runways of Gucci and this, that, and the other thing. Um, so I really love that she kind of comes at it from a wearable side to high fashion. Um, she says in the description also that this bucket hat was designed thoughtfully um, because there are some bucket hats where the the brim is very wide and floppy and some that are very short um, so I get the impression that she tested this out a few times and found the width of a brim that was good for all the sizes good for all the people so it made me feel really good about recommending this bucket hat pattern all the photos and reviews and everything associated with this pattern all look really great her listing she must have released this in the fall or winter um, because she's got some very like, you know, winter type of fabrics. So I think it'll be interesting to see what we can come up with in July. Um, this bucket hat pattern, capsule patterns, bucket hat pattern comes in sizes, what she calls junior all the way up to 2XL men. So depending on how big of a noggin you got, I think that she's going to be able to have a size that fits you. And I love that you can make them for your kiddos and the, you know, men in your life and then you as well. You can have a whole family set of bucket hat patterns. Okay, so this is going to be pretty easy to throw together. There's you know, obviously no notions. It's a few pattern pieces. You print at home. You've got a brim. You've got the little stand part and then the like, you know, top part. Um, so it should be pretty straightforward to put together. Fabrication here is important. So you really need a fabric that can hold its own shape, right? So we're looking at your heavyweight woven fabrics. Um, so I've seen a ton of them in like canvas, which you can find at any fabric store. Um, I would even look at the cotton canvas that Joanne has if you're looking to, to buy fabric. The cotton canvas that Joanne has should be really good. That's going to be breathable still, but also still hold its shape. And they have a ton of different prints. Um, but I've also seen them look really, really great in just like solids, especially for guys like a navy bucket hat. I see them wearing with just about anything. Um, for me though, I this is like a double challenge for me. In addition to sewing the pattern every month and getting it done on time, I also challenge myself to sew for my stash. So went d diving in my stash and I found so a couple of interesting options. One sort of basic and, and maybe predictable, but it's just denim, right? This is a denim curtain that I got at Goodwill. Um, you can't go wrong with a denim bucket hat. If you have an embroidery machine, you know, you could really do some fun stuff with the little stand part, but you know, this is going to go with absolutely everything and just be really cute. This one is a little bit on the drapey side because it is drapes it is a curtain but i think down in there somewhere i do have some really stiff denim that i could swap this out for but i just wanted to give you guys an idea of like 
the color. Um, and then what I'll probably do, because I literally can't think of anything else to do with this fabric, is sew it from my golf fabric. <laughs> so I got this as a gift from a woman who used to be like a home ec teacher, a sewing teacher in like the school system. And she had all of this like old vintage fabric. I don't know if her students were using this or she just collected this on her own. I imagine that this is some kind of like home deck fabric, um, but it's got golf clubs and golf balls. Now, do I play golf? No, I, <laughs> I don't. But <laughs> I do think having a golf bucket hat would be really fun and unique and really cute. And I can still wear it and not play golf. I mean, I sort of sometimes like to watch golf putt-putt. I love putt-putt. Um, so I don't know, it just feels very summery to me, you know, with the golf and the weight is right and it's still navy. So from like far away when she's coming at you, you can't really tell that it's golf. You have to get up really up close. I don't know. I mean, what else am I gonna do with golf fabric? make a bag. Okay, I can do that. There's plenty of this. I have a ton of it. So I, I'm really thinking I'm going to lean in and do like a golf thing. And you know, how many people go out to Target wearing workout clothes, you know, workout leggings and a workout top and a sports bra? They haven't hit a gym in years. So what's the difference between that and me wearing golf stuff, even golf and tennis stuff for that matter, when I don't play the sport? Nothing. I'm just like, you know, dressing up to an aesthetic representative of something that I admire, like golfers and tennis players. I admire you. I just am not great with hand-eye coordination. <laughs> Anyways, I just think that would be so, so, so much fun. So if you want to participate in Sew Together 21, or <laughs> Sew Together 22, what year is it? Um, you can download the capsule bucket hat pattern. I have a link in the description box. It's like $3. Um, you make the pattern ideally within the month, but if you know me, you know, I'm not great with deadlines and I don't like making everyone's life any more stressful than it already is. So I encourage you to finish it within the month, but you definitely don't have to. I don't think I've finished a sew together pattern since April or May, and I am okay with that. I got a little backlog. I'm gonna be able to knock them all out in a couple of weekends, no big deal. I'm not stressing about it and you shouldn't either. But if you can knock this out and get it done before the end of the month, post it to Instagram so I can see it. Um, and I typically try and share a few of them that come through. Um, and we can all have like a cute little bucket hat party. Um, so yeah, no deadlines, $3 pattern, fully size inclusive for all the head sizes out there. And um, yeah, quick, easy scrap buster. So I hope you will join us this month and participate um, and then check back in to see what we end up sewing for August. That's gonna do it for me today, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.